On November 26th, a new update hit the servers for beta testers. This update will probably be the last before launch on the 28th, and with it comes some new information about Artifact's story and some minor gameplay changes. Let's take a look. Previously, a controversial discussion, visible decklists are now able to be enabled during gameplay for both players' decks. This means that at any point in the game, you can press F3 to bring up your opponent's decklist and see what cards have been played already and what cards have not. You can also bring up your own with F2 and track your own deck similarly. This feature was one that was enabled during closed alpha testing and has only been disabled fairly recently, only to be re-enabled today. This feature is only available in tournament mode to prevent the value of scouting. In gauntlet and casual matchmaking, the decklist will only show cards that have already been revealed or played. A fully visible decklist from the get-go reduces the prominence of any rogue decks, meaning decklists that favor having your opponent surprised by something they are not used to playing against, forcing them to think on their feet. Time will tell how this feature serves the game, but nevertheless, it does up the strategic factor by presenting all hidden information to you from the start and having to take the guessing out of playing around cards that your opponent may or may not have. Among this feature are many fixes, namely the bug that caused Radiant Towers to hide damage preview numbers and unresponsive cards from canceling unrecommended actions. Additionally, this update brings tweaks to Lux and Nox's activeness during a game and further additions to the Gauntlet Rewards pane. Gearing up for launch, Valve has also announced two new Artifact Story comics, one that releases with this update and one that will be released on launch on the 28th, named Prelude and Call to Arms respectively. In Prelude, we follow three new recruits that are taken into the House of the Cunning. We learn with them that Artifact is a system that alters the course of time in the Dota universe. Every game is canonical, and the cards that you play and destroy change the course of Dota history. We are then introduced to Jalixia, more commonly known as the character who voices the featured event intro and the timer in-game. Providing cards and help to all houses, Jalixia seems to be very intent on completing some grand mission. But for now, she is concerned on amassing more people to play Artifact and continue altering the past. Thus, the name of the first set, Call to Arms. What do you think of this update? Was enabling decklists and constructed and draft a good change? How would you do it? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for future game updates. Thanks for watching, and we will see you at launch.